Meeting industry friends, it's a new year and it's time to set some goals for the year ahead. Now, while you should all be setting some goals for your respective businesses, today I wanna to share with you a few goals that maybe you haven't thought of yet. Stick around. Hey friends, it's Leanne and I just love the start of a new year. In fact, I love the start of each new quarter because it's time then for me to reevaluate my goals and set new goals for the quarter ahead. Now, if you are not a goal setter and all of this New Year's resolution chatter is annoying the heck out of you, I'm hopeful that my post today is just a little bit different than the other chatter you've heard from the other type A personalities about goals. Because these goals dig a little bit deeper beyond the financials and the numeric goals that you might be setting for your business. So let me give you some examples. Before we launch into my goal ideas, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to be notified of new content each week. One of my goals this year is to create better videos and better content. So I would love your feedback on my progress. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Okay, so let's look at some of these meeting industry goals for the upcoming year. Goal number one, schedule some time for some professional development. You can never get enough professional development and January is a good time to look at all of the events in the year ahead and start to map out where you're going to be and who you're going to meet over the next 12 months. If you need an industry calendar, simply subscribe to our newsletter over on conferencesource.net and the calendar has all of the meetings industry events that you can attend. Now you might already be attending some great events here in January, PCMA convening leaders at the beginning of January, perhaps you're reading this post while you're there, or attend Go West in Edmonton in a few weeks time. I did a post about popular PD opportunities in the meetings industry. You can check that out in the description for the video, or you can click on the link here if you're viewing this in YouTube. Goal number two, take a break from social media. Now, I love social media, so this might be a little counterintuitive, but hear me out. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in all the different platforms on social media that it all becomes white noise because there's so much information. By paring down the platforms that you listen to and the platforms that you follow on a regular basis, you now create better focus on the platforms that you are going to put your energy into. So if you're on five different platforms every hour of the day, all I'm suggesting is to cut down on the number of platforms and put your focus into one or two platforms. Tip number three, ramp up your social media presence. Now this is not contrary to number two, but part of number two as well. Now that you've pared down your platforms, we want to increase your personal and professional brand on those platforms. And this one is really key for meeting partners where you need to create a personal brand that's separate from the organization that you represent. You really do want to create your own brand. And so maybe this is the year to do it. If you're having troubles deciding what platform you should be using, I did do a post about inbound marketing platforms. You can check it out in the description. Or again, if you're viewing this in YouTube, you can just click right up here. Goal number four, eat, sleep, and exercise. Now this is not your run of the mill, eat better, sleep better, exercise more goal, but rather with the lifestyles we lead as meeting planners and meeting partners where we're always on the road, this is the one that keeps us healthy when our schedules are completely chaotic. So I want you to look at it that way. I want you to look at how are we gonna eat better when we're on the road and traveling all the time? How are we going to incorporate meaningful sleep habits when we're in different time zones every other day? And how are we going to incorporate exercise when we're out of our offices? Again, I did a post about productivity tips when you're on the road, you can check it out in the description or again, just click on the video here. Lots of goodies in this video this week. <laughs> Now I have some very specific goals for both meeting planners and meeting partners, and I'm gonna start with the planners. So planners, here are four goals that are just for you. 
Goal number five, try something new in your meetings. This is the year to shake things up, engage attendees in a way that maybe you've never done before, but then keep us in mind because we want to hear about your stories. We want to hear on how you transformed your meetings this year. You can check out 2020 stories on our website at conferencesource.net. That is where we are featuring meeting planners who took a leap of faith and tried something new in their meetings. Will that be you this year? I sure hope so. Goal number six, incorporate the latest trends. And ironically, we just updated our trends document as well that you can find on our website. But start to incorporate some of those trend ideas into your meetings this year. The Pantone color of the year is classic blue for 2020. So you might be able to weave in that very classic navy blue into your decor and maybe even into your food and beverage. So there's tons of things that you can do with the latest industry trends. You just need to do your research. There's lots of ways that you can do this on a budget. And again, we have some ideas on our website that might be able to help. Goal number seven, improve delegate satisfaction. Now this one is different from all the other financial and numeric goals that you might set, but if you improve your delegate satisfaction, all those other financial goals are also going to improve. Your sponsors are going to return. Your exhibitors are going to be happier. So focus on your delegate satisfaction and in turn, everything else will improve as well. And finally, for you meeting planners, set a goal to set goals. If your meetings do not have specific goals already, this is the year to ask those questions. Why are we meeting? Why do our delegates want to attend? What are our delegates going to walk away with at the end of the meeting? And how are we going to measure success? This is the year to do it for each and every meeting. Okay, meeting suppliers and partners, I haven't forgotten about you. Here are a couple goals that are specifically for you and things that I think will really improve how we deliver service to our planner clients. Partners, goal number five for you is to create a client care campaign. I feel really strongly about this, that after the contract is signed and we potentially hand off our meeting planner to another person on our team, that we still stay in touch with that client and we create a campaign that cultivates and nurtures the relationship that we worked so hard to build with them to make the sale in the first place. So this is the year that you can create a client care campaign. Again, there are links in the description to a blog post that I wrote about this very topic. Or again, if you're on YouTube, the video is right here. And finally, partners, we need to stay on top of event trends as well for our clients. By providing our clients concrete ideas on how to use the latest event trends, we move ourselves from being simply a supplier and into being a partner who is also invested in the success of their meeting. So will you join me this year in making sure that we are handing off those tips and tricks and how to use event trends with our product and service so that our clients see more success? Friends, that was a long post today, but I feel strongly about goals and how they drive us to be the best versions of ourselves. And there's maybe some goals that I'm missing and I want to hear from you if there are things that you want to share with the meeting planning community about the goals that you're setting for your own business and for your own personal development this year. Please comment on this video below. Friends, I've provided lots of links and lots of videos throughout this video today. It's a lot to take in. There is a full list of resources in the description for this particular YouTube video. But don't forget to check out the blog posts on this topic on both our conferencesource.net website and our leannecalderwood.com website. There you can find all the goals that you can use for this upcoming year. And remember, I am rooting you on the whole way. If you ever want to share your goals with me and keep yourself accountable, I'm your gal. Good luck, everyone. Have a great start to the new year. Bye for now.